Well, good afternoon. My name is Leah Dade, and I'm the executive director here at Second Street Youth Center. And we're actually in the conference room here at the center. And I have some amazing guests who I'd like you to meet as we enter into a conversation about the U.S. Census. So to my right, I have Mr. Nevlon Duguid, and he is from Guyana. Yes. I have Father Manuel Oliveira, who is the pastor of St. Mary's Church, and he is from Brazil. And also to my left, I have the amazing people's champion himself, Mr. Hector Camacho Jr. He is an Olympic champion boxer, and he is here to address the concerns of his people. Further to my left, we have Mr. Carlos Peralto, who is from Ecuador. And then we have Ms. Sonia Amaran, who is one of our family workers here at Second Street Youth Center. So we want to open it up and have a dialogue. We want to talk about why the census is so important. But more importantly, we want to get rid of some of the myths that might be out there about the census. So I know there are questions around the room and th thoughts and things. So we're just going to open it up and have a conversation. Who would like to go first? That was the last question. Okay. This question for myself, also for my people. Does the census care if you're a U.S. citizen? That is indeed one of the most important questions that is currently being asked. The census does not care about citizenship. The census is actually just doing a count. It just needs to know the number of people in the country to be able to determine the amount of resources that have to flow from the federal to the state and local communities, right? So every time a child comes into my center, we're blessed to have 210 children here every day. If I decided that we weren't going to count them all, we would not be able to have the right amount of teachers, the right amount of food every day, okay. and provide the service. So everybody has to count, from a child who was just born 24 hours ago, all the way up to your grandmother, great-grandmother, as long as they're in your household. So the census does not care. Are the information, is it secure? Are they safe? Given other information. In other words, I might knock on their house and their doors or they're safe? So the census information is not only safe, I like to say it's bulletproof. It really and truly is. Because it is not allowed to share any information with any other regulatory body, any other regulatory industry, not ICE, not the police, not the inspector, not your landlord. No one gets the information that goes into the census. It literally, it doesn't ask you any information other than your name and the number of people in the household. That's it, and it's really just to see how many people we have in Plainfield that would need services. And remember, once we have this number, we're kind of stuck with this number for 10 years, right? So it's really important that we get an accurate count because we won't have another count for 10 years. I want to ask uh, Father Oliveira to talk a little bit about his perception about the census and what, what you know about the census. Muy bien. Yo quería decir que es verdad que hay miedo. Los, mis parroquianos, algunos no quieren participar del censo, pero queremos ayudar en este sentido diciendo que hay muchas posibilidades de participar. Una de ellas va a ser que vamos a tener computadoras y gente preparada en nuestra escuela, en nuestra parroquia, para que los parroquianos, la gente que quiera, pueda venir a la iglesia a llenar el censo y así no tener ningún problema, porque no hay peligro. Great. Thank you so much. And okay. here at Second Street Youth Center, we are also going to have computers, laptops here, so that people can come right into the school and actually fill out their census as well. So, Neville, I know you're from Guyana, so tell me a little bit about your thoughts about the census. I'm scared for my people also because I'm in the Caribbean community. There's a lot of people here that are not documented as well. And that's in Plainfield and all over New Jersey. Mm -hmm. I understand how they feel, right? I also felt the same way. Uh, and no, it doesn't matter what I find out. A good friend of mine told me that if his landlord told him if he goes and fills out the census, that the landlord for renting him the apartment, even though he's undocumented, uh, would get in trouble if he goes and fills out the census. So that was his apprehension or his reason why he does not want to engage in filling out the census. And that's a question I wanted to ask myself. So we consider landlords the same thing as inspectors. 
So information about the census and who's living in your household and how many people are living in your household is not even shared with local inspectors or um, anyone that would try to penalize a landlord for renting an apartment. So there's no fear of that as well. The goal is not to suppress anyone or give anyone a reason not to be counted. We want to give everyone a reason to know that they should be counted. Think about it like this. If you are participating and taking your children to the park on Saturday, and the amazing park is allowing you to play soccer with your children and put your children on the swings. If we don't count your children and count your family, we lose money for those parks. And parks will close. Parks won't be able to be clean. Parks won't be able to be made safe. So you're using the parks. That's why there has to be a count. Think about it like this. Children are going to school every day. If we don't get a proper count, we won't know we need new schools. We won't have enough slots for children starting school. Children come here. We have 210 children here in our preschool. And so we have to have a proper count to be able to show, oh, we need more daycare centers, and we need funding for more daycare centers so that children can continue to go to uh, child care for free. Oh, so I didn't know that. So let's say... If there's a hundred people in the community just for numbers and only 10 of them get counted, you're saying that the resources that the state will provide is only for 10? Will only be for 10. Oh, wow. And so we'll have 90 people who will not have resources and won't have access to uh, what they need because we didn't get a proper count. Carlos, tell me a little bit about your thoughts on the census, and I'd love you to share a little bit because you and I have had some conversations about the importance of the uh, the healthcare center here in Plainfield. Oh yes, nosotros básicamente, eh, yo por mi parte tengo mi propio testimonio que mi hija vino aquí al programa de after school y el, el programa para cuidar a los niños en kinder. Entonces, esa es una gran ayuda. Si nosotros no no nos hacemos contar en el censo. Nosotros vamos a perder muchas oportunidades como esto. Hay muchos padres que trabajan mucho y no tienen dónde dejar a sus niños. Entonces ellos vienen y aplican aquí. Como dijo aquí, nosotros podemos aplicar sin tener miedo si son ciudadanos o no ciudadanos. Este programa es para todo, toda la gente y queremos que nosotros tengamos las mismas oportunidades. Eh, en todas partes, como puede tener Westfield o Scotch Plains, que son eh, ciudades siguientes que tienen mucho más. Eh, apoyo, entonces es muy importante dejarse contar para que nosotros podamos tener todos sus beneficios, salud, educación y, y tener a Plainfield como nosotros quisiéramos tenerlo. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I know Carlos was talking a little bit more about our federally qualified health care center, and so many of our families do use the health care center. I'd love, Ms. Sonia, to talk a little bit about uh, how our families use the health care center here in uh, Second Street. So as a family worker here at Second Street Youth Center, we service 210 families, okay? Every day our job is to help support our families, provide them with resources, and there's, they need a lot of resources and services. Health Center, we send many of our parents there, you know? We have the flu shots, physicals every year that is needed, and a lot, of, you know, a lot of families, they don't have the insurance. Okay, so they have to pay out of pocket for doctor's visits, um, for just a, something as simple as a flu shot they can't afford. So we sit there and we send them for the health clinic. If they are not counted, they're going to cut those funds. They're not going to have those funds. They'll lose that. And it's something that it is necessary that we have and everyone is counted. A lot of parents don't realize that how much this can benefit, especially the district of Plainfield, um, in many things, in the schools. In, and just like Ms. Leah said, I just really wish that these you know, families realize that it is safe, it is necessary, and to please be counted, because it will make a difference. One person makes a difference. So we're going to summarize. Uh, the most important thing that we want everyone to know is that it is safe. Plainfield is what's called a welcoming city, and Plainfield has made a commitment that it will not cooperate with federal authorities and ensure that every person feels safe in Plainfield. So no information is going to ICE, no information is going to the police department, no information is going to in local inspectors at all. We want you to know that you too should be and can be counted. 
And so as we summarize today, we wanted you to know that we will have computers available here at Second Street Youth Center so that you can do it right online. And when you do it online, guess what? You don't ever have to worry about your information. There will be computers at St. Mary's Church, and you're going to be able to uh, complete your census there. We will have people to translate so that you will not have to worry about do you understand how to do the paperwork online. But we want you to know you have to be counted, and we all need to be counted. Thank you so much, and Thank we you. look forward to everyone being counted, right? Yes. Thank you all for being our guest today and getting the message out about we want to be counted.